Hey, 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 it's a Friday. Let's start this out by something that I saw on the telly. I pulled it up here, maybe you haven't seen it. It's kind of a, it's a bad thing. It's kind of a strange thing. About the punk rock band in Moscow. The, uh, I think it's a three girl band. Let's look at this article. Uh, apparently this happened in the past, a while back. They've been found guilty and given two year sentences for what? In the last six months, the brightly colored ski mass of Russia's Pussy Riot protesters have become icons of the opposition movement. A judge handed down this verdict Friday in the case that brought the punk rock band world attention. Well, they got two years in jail. For one minute of punk prayer, in an Orthodox cathedral last February, so this would be about 17 months ago or so, these three young women were convicted by the judge of hooliganism, and they each got two years. The split Russia <clears throat> was seen as a test of Putin's willingness to crack down on opponents. Seventy percent of Russians describe themselves as Orthodox Christians. Her church hierarchy maintains close ties with the Kremlin. But 17 months ago in last February, these three women, dressed in brightly colored tights, short skirts, and balaclavas, entered the restricted area of Christ the Savior, the world's largest Orthodox cathedral. They stepped out in front of the altar and danced and played guitars while praying for the Virgin Mary to drive out Putin. They didn't say praying to the Virgin Mary. They said praying for the Virgin Mary to drive out Putin. Russian Orthodox churches banned musical instruments, dancing, and masks. Women traditionally wear conservatively cut clothes and somber colors are black. Outside the courtroom, the Orthodox Russians sang prayers. Most of the hundreds of people who came to the court Friday seemed to favor these women who have already been held for five months in jail. During that time, the hostile public reaction that greeted their protests has turned into sympathy. Two of the three have young children who they have not seen since March. Before the hearing Friday, Pussy Riot supporters placed brightly colored balaclavas, woolen ski masks on the heads of statues around Moscow. After the verdict was announced, police moved in aggressively to disperse the crowd of protesters outside the courthouse and detained several dozen people. Sergei Udaltsov, a left-wing opposition leader, spoke to the journalist. He invited all to protest on September the 15th, calling for the release of the Pussy Riot ban and other political prisoners. Then he too was arrested. The imprisoned singers have said they're encouraged, encouraged by foreign support for them. Paul McCartney, Madonna, and Sting have appealed for their release. Judge Marina Sirova said the three young women who comprised the Pussy Riot punk group had gravely offended Russian Orthodox sensibilities. Mm-hmm. Well, <clears throat> this kind of caught my eye simply because of the prophecy of Fatima. Whenever Russia was included in one of the one of the prophecies. They were supposed to turn and come to Christ. That's what they were asked to do. <clears throat> this doesn't sound like they have, eh? I'm not sure over here someone would have went to jail for that. I find it hard to believe they would, but in today's world it wouldn't surprise me. So they got a little off. They offended someone. That's not worthy of a two year sentence. Now, we're going to look at something that's been with us since March 11th, and I am not backing off. Radiation is what it is. And I've always said we were dosed. 
will continue to take doses in our food and our water. And it's in our atmosphere from the Japanese tsunami, the big earthquake. This article is Increased Genetic Defects in, from the Fukushima Radiation. We'll read through. The effects of the disaster in Fukushima have now become visible in the butterflies, you have heard. Maybe not. I think I've also seen pictures of uh, lobsters. I think I saw a blue one. But that's another thing, another species. These researchers are worrying the effects may start to be felt amongst human beings. The butterflies found to be, be found to be deformed as a result of radiation from the nuclear meltdown in Fukushima belong to the butterfly family, family of gossamer wing butterflies. They can be found all over the world. They are sensitive to changes in the environment, to water and air pollution, chemicals, and radioactivity. Scientists, gossamer wing butterflies are thus a good biological indicator of the health of the environment. When they get sick, it means there's a problem somewhere in the ecosystem even if there don't seem to be any apparent problem. Winfried Eisenberg, radiation expert and member of International Physicians for the Prevention of Nuclear War, told DW. The findings of these Japanese scientists don't surprise me. There were similar findings in studies conducted after Chernobyl. So, <clears throat> these are a good biological indicator of the health of the environment. When they get sick, it means there's a problem somewhere. They've now been mutated, so that tells you there's a problem in the ecosystem because of the radiation. After the nuclear disaster in 86 in Chernobyl, deformities similar to the ones recently seen in butterflies were also in Fukushima were also observed in plant insects. Even today, Eisenberg said researchers continue to find a hundred times more genetic mutations in field mice, now the 52nd generation since the disaster, than in mice in uncontaminated areas. One hundred times more genetic mutation in the mice, the 52nd generation since 311. Swallows were also affected greatly. In Chernobyl and surrounding areas, the birds are as good as extinct. The ones that do still exist there have very small heads, very low success rates in breeding. Not only animals and insects pass on genetic defects to their offspring. Nine months after Chernobyl, there was a significant increase in the number of babies born in Metrosonomy 21, also known as Down Syndrome a disease in which there is one copy too many of chromosome 21 in the DNA. During that time, the number of deformities and miscarriages was especially high even outside of Chernobyl, according to a report by the Society for Radiation Protection. There are between 18,000 and 122,000 people who have genetic defects as a result of Chernobyl throughout Europe. 122,000 people 18,000 to 122,000. Well, they put a number out since Chernobyl. You can bet that's a little bit more than that. <clears throat> Small amounts of radiation can be dangerous. The minimum dose of radiation cells can be exposed to before mutating is unclear. Peter Jacob, the head of the Institute for Radiation Protection at the Helmholtz Center in Munich, told DW that even small quantities of radiation was enough to cause damage. But human cells have remarkable defense mechanisms that have evolved throughout time. Should any abnormalities occur during cell division, certain enzymes make sure that most of them are required, or repaired, excuse me. Most, not all. A quick repair after short-term exposure to radiation could lead to further mutations, which are then passed on to the next generation of cells. In the long term, that can lead to you got it. Cancer. And if the mutation happens to be in sperm or egg cells, there's a much higher risk that such disease causing mutations can be passed down for generations. <clears throat> disease causing mutations. 
of the DNA, the building blocks of who each person is, can be passed down for generations. There you go with your, this runs in my family, that runs in my family, it was on grandma's side, it was on grandpa's side kind of thing. Follows for generations and generations and generations. A study conducted by the UN Scientific Committee on the effects of atomic radiation found that the n number of cases of thyroid cancer and leukemia in Japan would not rise significantly as a result of the reactor meltdown in Fukushima. Mm -hmm. Yet Eisenberg said that deformed butterflies speak for themselves, spoke for themselves, even if findings and research on animals and insects could not completely speak for the humans. A series of ultrasound examinations conducted on over 40,000 children in Japan found 35% of the children to have lumps or cysts. Read that again. A series of ultrasound examinations conducted on over 40,000 children in Japan found that 35% of those children have lumps or cysts. That's at least 14,000 of these 40,000 tested. This is not normal among children. This figure is alarming. He, along with some of his colleagues, requested access to Japan's birth statistics for the first, uh, for the time since the disaster at the Daiichi nuclear power plant. As of now, he's still waiting for the access to be granted. <clears throat> So, their children have already been contaminated. You have the sample of 40,000 tests, 35% have lumps and cysts. That's 14%. That's only 40,000 that got tested. That is not any adults. That does not count any animals. That is strictly human. Let us go on to this article from nuclearnews.info. Children's Health and Fukushima Radiation. According to the American Thyroid Association, thyroid problems from nuclear events occur when radioactive iodine is leaked into the atmosphere and thyroid cells that absorb too much of the iodine may become cancerous, with children being particularly susceptible. These were local children, unwitting guinea pigs. The issue of nuclear radiation on human health sites besides Fukushima, the August 1945 nuclear bombing of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, and the April 96 explosion of Chernobyl. But in reality, there are no comparisons to evaluate Fukushima. I tried to tell everyone it was worse than Chernobyl. The 1945 U.S. Hiroshima-Nagasaki bombings were weapon air burst, which raised no nuclear debris from the ground. Furthermore, the Japanese medical establishment had no experience with the problem, and when the U.S. military forces arrived a month later, information about the human cost of the bombings was censored for decades, showing pictures of the destroyed buildings and victims with kimono patterns seared in their skin. As for Chernobyl, that catastrophe represented a major black eye for the Soviet General Secretary Mikhail Gorbachev's glasnost policy. Thanks to the heroic efforts of Soviet emergency workers, the Chernobyl smoking nuclear Roman candle burned for nine days before being extinguished. <clears throat> I say it was a heroic effort of emergency workers. I'm sure those were some included. I've also found that over the years I read about Chernobyl that they went and they got people who were unwilling knowing they would be dead from radiation contamination and were forced to do the work. So it was not in Chernobyl all heroics from the Soviet emergency workers. In contrast, Fukushima Daiichi has been like a separating wound 
leaching radion eucalyptides into the environment since March 2011. And then, furious arguments about not only how much was released, but the potential long-term health consequences. Two months ago, TEPCO stated that Fukushima debacle may release twice as much. TEPCO says this. It may have released twice as much radioactivity than the government, Japan's government, initially estimated. How can anyone estimate long-term health effects when actual exposure rates are unknown? Scientists do have a well-defined test group, the population of Fukushima Prefecture surrounding the stricken NPP. The sixth report of the Fukushima Prefecture Health Management Survey, released in April, The survey exam, there we go, the survey examined 38,114 local children, the 36% have abnormal thyroid gross. And we just read the other article, 40,035%, so that is jiving. The Fukushima Prefecture Health Management Survey revealed that 13,460 children, or 35.3%, had thyroid cysts or nodules up to 0.197 inches long growing on their thyroids, and 0.5% of the children had gross larger than 0.197 inches. <clears throat> so why might this be significant? Thyroid problems from nuclear events occur when radioactive iodine is linked into the leak into the atmosphere and thyroid cells that absorb too much of the iodine may become cancerous. Yes, thyroid cancer seems to be, the ATA is noting that thyroid cancer seems to be the only cancer whose incidence rises after radioactive iodine release and that the babies and children are at the highest risk. The estimated lifetime radiation doses among the children are still low, but they do exist. The Japan's National Institute of Radi Radiological Scientists stated at a July 10th International Symposium at Chiba Prefecture. Who cares about such an arcane issue? Well, the National Institute of Radiological Services concludes conclusions refute they refute the government's assertion that Japanese children in effect receive zero thyroid radiation doses from Fukushima. RE, Fukushima Children's Health, the news just gets better. Two months ago, Tokyo Shinbum reported that 60 percent, 60 percent of Fukushima children under 12 have tested positive for diabetes. Why possibly? Because the strontium-90 radioactive isotope quickly decays to become yttrium-90 which can concentrate in the pancreas, causing pancreatic cancer or diabetes. That said, while noting the abnormality, Dr. Maria declined to link it to the radiation exposure. Well, that doesn't mean it didn't happen. So where does the Japanese government go from here? It might do worse than to follow the advice of Australian pediatrician Dr. Helen Caldicott, who after observing that it is extremely rare to find cysts and thyroid nodules in children, but you would not expect ag abnormalities to appear so early, within the first year or so. Therefore, one can assume that they must have received a high dose of radiation before concluding. It is impossible to know from what, parentheses, Japanese officials are saying what these lesions are. Caldicott also noted that Japanese officials are not sharing the ultrasound results with foremost experts of thyroid nodules in children before noting that data should be made available. And they should be consulting with international experts at ASAP, ASAP. And the lesions on the ultrasound should all be biopsied and they're not being biopsied. And if they're not being biopsied, then there's ultimate medical irresponsibility. Because if some of these children have cancer and they're not treated, they're going to die. Still, 
Something for Westerners to think about the next time their government promotes building a nuclear power plant nearby or if you live close to an existing one. Said it before, say it again, I mean it, I know it. <clears throat> We're miles and miles and miles from Japan. Wind blows, ocean currents flow, jet stream. You got all these, nothing stays still. I showed everybody the models before. It came. It did. They just got higher dosed because that was their area. But it has infected children, adults, livestock, plant life, seawater. And we're not even talking about the stuff that Japan dumped into the ocean. The contaminated water. <clears throat> yeah. They didn't dispose of all that properly. They disposed of all, some of it properly, but not all of it. The rest of it they dumped. Then you are seeing oops, genetic defects in children in, and in animals. So, like the article said, it's the fact that this is happening and they're noticing it now, it's happening as fast as a year, a little over a year. That's very alarming and disturbing. So the time you notice that you got some cancer or whatever it could be a couple of years after you got exposed from something like this or ate something that was nuked and had isotopes you were infected. We have to eat, right? We're not all green acres where we grow our own. And we still have rainwater if it's, you know, got stuff in it. Soil and whatever. So we're kind of at the mercy of the food merchants, aren't we? We all need to pray for the world, its people, everything that's going on. <clears throat> Back to the Nibiru. Planet X, Destroyer, whatever name it's going to have. You can just pretty well call it the Hellraiser, I guess. I didn't see nothing today. And I'm just not seeing anything right now. I think it's, uh, we're still ahead of the, of the time. I mean, what I see on the ground is not matching what's going to happen above. Not yet. I still think that we have some Middle East military movement that has to occur. It includes Israel before we're going to actually see it all over the world that object. <clears throat> There's also been a, a couple of months ago we had some sightings here down in the south western part of the state of some strange flying objects. Well, there are some things flying around. We got a lot of secret stuff of our own. Can never rule out that it's something that they haven't shared with us yet. <coughs> they generally don't share much. If you look, look back in history, unless they have to, it seems like there's a some little turd of a technology that they end up having to, and then they give it to us. But the other good stuff, they keep for themselves, so they can do whatever they're doing all over the place. Let's also talk briefly about these, this drought. Like I mentioned, the food's going to be going up to gas, everything. <clears throat> It'll take a little while, at least for the food. A lot of the livestock guys are taking their cattle and selling them. 
because uh, feeding them with the price of feed going up and everything because the corn is burnt and everything they're just going ahead and selling so the meat situation should be okay for a while I believe but then we're going to reach that point where all that extra meat has been bought and then they're going to have less livestock later down the line because they sold it now well, I'd say in the next probably probably a couple of months probably entered into November if not before probably going to see your your beef going up probably, probably everything pork and chicken so there's not any way actually to save money is there it seems like when you get a little saved something goes up and takes it away doesn't it either your insurance goes up or the food goes up or the gas goes up uh, and those are just the everyday things that's not counting having an accident or something breaking at your house needing fixed through your vehicle or anything as far as the insurance goes well I thought the Obamacare was supposed to drive down the price of the premium and the other side who they're players for the same master anyway the other side said no it's gonna raise it well they may play for the same guy but they did tell us the truth I got a, no a notice on my job then yes they did raise the insurance <clears throat> and I'm just a single guy you know I pay way less than uh, the married guys so for them theirs went up too so that got more expensive so even though certain aspects of the total Obamacare which we'd like to repeal and eliminate and make a plan that's right it does things the right way even though it was billed it's gonna make things cheaper it sure didn't for the middle class where I'm at and the company that I work for it raised it and there's a whole bunch of <clears throat> paperwork that I haven't had time to go through and totally absorb everything I have to get my handbook out and look it all up but it looks like they've made some changes in certain treatments and transplants and stuff like that and what they'll cover and how much so my my words to everyone is don't forget March 11th it's because we haven't cracked yet New Madrid hadn't cracked and we haven't flooded on our coast yet we haven't felt a giant vibration yet and don't think people aren't seeing something by the sun because they are not everybody because not everybody looks at it the same way with the same things at the same time from the same spot because we all live in different places don't we and we all have different things that we can look at it with besides our eyes but some people are catching things and don't forget all that stuff out of sight out of mind don't make it go away and this is uh, this is affecting people and animals and we eat the animals we absorb into our own system whatever they've got wrong with them and that, and that can make something wrong with us and it's starting to show up in the children in Japan and that's just talking about the children in Japan I believe we had an article over here not too long after Fukushima occurred and there was a problem with newborn infants uh, don't quote me on the location but I think it was the Philadelphia hospital doctor stuck his neck out I believe it was Philadelphia and I think he said uh, he had seen a rise in infant mortality rates 
and he concluded that it had something to do with the radiation from Fukushima. And that was over here. I haven't heard any more about that doctor after that, or what he's got to say. So these were a couple of serious things I wanted to bring out and speak to you about because it hasn't gone away. You're seeing mutated species now. You're seeing children with lumps and tumors starting to come up. And you're seeing children with diabetes now. So, it's quite obvious. Fukushima was billed to the world as a media event and described as less than what it actually was. Have you ever really heard him tell how many people it took away? Swept out and died. Have you ever really heard him tell how much debris is already washed up on our coasts? I mean, if people see it, <clears throat> somebody has to alert the media, right? Or the media won't cover it. And then the media is only going to cover it if they're told to cover it anyway. So no matter how much debris washes up on our shore, flip the coin. It's where the media is going to tell us or not. <clears throat> or tell us the truth. What they have said is, what they found so far is, they tested it and it didn't have any radiation in it. And then you get blah 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 reasons why none of that was contaminated because the explosion happened after things were swept out into the water and there's no way it could have been contaminated. Blah blah blah. But what else are they going to say, eh? But what the obvious truth would be. It should be a good night for star watching. You've been seeing the nice little triangle out to the west. Oh, I think it was last week or something. Uh, I was gazing at that, something about 10 o'clock or so. It looks pretty nice. The guy at work noticed it. Didn't understand exactly what it was. He had half of it right. I may bring that up and show that on my solarium in my next video. But if you look up, it should still be there about 10 o'clock or something, somewhere in the west. West, northwest, I believe. So you all be safe <clears throat> coming up on the weekend here. Have a nice weekend. If it's cooled off where you're at, enjoy this break from the heat. Do a rain dance too if you can and try and get it to rain, but not flood. Because everything definitely needs a good drenching. I don't have a yard left. <clears throat> it turned yellow. Oh, that's one other thing. The water situation. I don't know about where you're at, but where I'm at, we're under water rationing now. Uh, yeah, you can use your normal amount of water for your everyday task. But as far as using anything over your everyday task, you're not allowed to water your yard anymore. You can water it one hour per day. And it was supposed to be while you're standing there with the hose in your hand. So I guess that is meant to make you get real hot where you decide to go back in the house and according to the newly made city code law here about water rationing you would not be able to lay the hose down and let the water continue running. Hmm. Therefore it might drive you to turn the water off and conserve while you went back in the house to cool off, huh? I think there's going to be another little meeting there and they're going to try and change that. It started off that you could water your lawn if you had an odd numbered house number on a certain side of the street one day. The next day you couldn't do it. The guy with the even number on the other side of the street, they could do it. And it was going like that. And then they just added and popped it on that, hey, it doesn't matter what side is what. You know, you can do it one hour a day. <clears throat> so they have the 
police, the trash men, the code office, and believe it or not, I believe they have the mail carriers all observing. And if you have a well and you're watering, well that could confuse them so they want you to post that you have a private well so they know you're not using more than they've allotted. This is as bad as the 20s, the late 20s going into the 30s and getting into the dust bowl. The soil is as dry now from what I've been finding out as it was back in the dust bowl. The moisture content is just as dry as it was back then. So this is not good at all. <clears throat> you think about things in say two year periods and last year we had all that snow melt we had the Mississippi and the Missouri incidences with the floodings. They had to choose which places to flood and who loses their stuff to try and keep New Orleans from becoming a Katrina again, becoming a giant lake of a state, lake of a city. So it was so wet the year before, and now where we're at, we have the opposite so dry. I believe, where is it, uh, Philippines? I believe there's lots of flooding over there in that area. So we all need prayers, they all need prayers. Even if they're not Christians, you still pray for them. Because there's a chance they can become Christians. But God has to touch them. He can't touch them if they don't ask, because they don't know him. They know somebody else. So it takes our prayers to ask him to touch all the non-Christians, to where something can stir inside of them, and they can start asking themselves questions, and being honest about things, and learning, and seeing, and opening their eyes, and opening their hearts. And then they'll have a chance. I'm going outside in a little while. I'm going to try to get some pictures. If I get something that looks interesting, I'll go ahead and post up. See y'all later. Keep them eyes open. Keep them ears open. Always be prepared for anything if you can. At least be aware. To be aware is to be prepared. To be unaware is to be caught off guard. I'll keep looking up.